Hello, this is Brian. I'm doing a 100 day tracing challenge. I started a YouTube channel for this tracing channel called Clinical Equipoise. And the goal is to do the same tracing for 100 days. And this is day one. Thanks for joining and thanks for watching. So I'm using Procreate. I got my iPad for the first time like one or two months ago. You see right here I'm inserting a photo from the photo library. It was just some random drawing of a rose. This part's funny. I'm trying to expand the rose. I'm using the Apple Pen to touch each corner. Um, and it's taking forever to get it to the right size I want. But then I realized you could just use your fingers uh, like you would zoom in and out on a map, which made it a lot quicker. Why did I choose a rose? Well, I just googled how to draw and the rose was the first thing that popped up when I just hit enter after how to draw. And so I pulled up a bunch of images of roses and I chose one that I thought would be well beyond my skill level. So here I'm adding a second layer. I've inserted the photo and my thought process is that I'll put a second layer over it to trace the drawing. And so I'm trying to develop good habits and I labeled it uh, sketch for the line art layer and I've decreased the opacity so that I can uh, make it easier to draw. I probably have less than two hours of Procreate experience. I feel like I've watched quite a few YouTube videos because I do love digital art even before I ever got an iPad. I think it's amazing when people create something and so even though I have very little experience. I know some of the commands. I tilted it because I'm left-handed, so I thought it'd make it easier for me to trace. And I've started making marks with a pencil, but I chose the wrong brush or pencil. And because of that, I can't even see the marks that I'm making. So I'm going back to the brush and trying to adjust it to make it more visible, more clear. See on that bottom petal, I've made some marks with the pencil. It's so funny to watch yourself fail like time and time again. I think that's one of the things I'm most excited about with the challenge is just like owning the fact that we have to go through the process of crawling before we can walk and walking before we can run. I'm an absolute noob. I don't have any artistic experience at all. I don't work in art. I work in a hospital. And I just thought, yeah, this could be a fun challenge. And it would be fun to have accountability partners. And I thought, you know what, I'll put it on YouTube so other people can see my struggle and have the courage to keep going as they're trying to learn something new as well. So why 10 minutes? Uh, I felt like it was sustainable. And, you know, I'm not really super motivated to be a great artist. My goal is I would like to create some animated videos, really simple animated videos for families who have uh, babies in the hospital and so I thought the 10 minutes would help improve the quality of my drawing by learning to copy something that's already existing and the 10 minutes would improve the efficiency because uh, that's going to be really important to me moving forward is I want to be able to efficiently produce artistic creations. So I realize now that I had created the second layer, but this whole time I was tracing on the original layer, layer one. And so now when I went to hide the layer one, all my line art disappeared. So I just deleted everything. <laughs> I'm just going to get rid of the both layers and start all over. I thought to myself, this is like so embarrassing that maybe I should just do day one all over again and 
and start tomorrow, but I was like, yeah, maybe it's good for people to see these moments of failure. At least I'm quicker to use my fingers this time. Improving efficiency some there. Trying to develop that good habit of labeling my layers so when I have more layers in the future, I can keep them organized. Decided to use a bolder brush for the line art so it would be more visible. I'm also owning the fact that it doesn't need to be perfect. This is just the first layer and I'm just trying to get the general outline and shape of the rose. 